as I walked into that, that office for the National Security Advisor, McGeorge Bundy's old office, you know, I realized that now I was going to be in charge of the policymaking process that I had criticized, you know, as a historian. And, uh, and so what the heck do you do, right? So I, I, really, I, I really brought into the job about four or five lessons that I was going to try to apply uh, to the process that we set up to protect against uh, what, what, I, what, I had, uh, what I had written about uh, during, during the uh, period in which Vietnam became an American war. And the first was to spend more time thinking about the nature of the problem, right? This goes back to design thinking and problem pr uh, framing, right? Uh, in, in Vietnam, there was really a, a tendency toward, toward immediately taking action and then a confusion of activity with, with progress, right? And, and, and not enough attention really to understand what is the real nature of the, of the problem uh, in, in South Vietnam. The, se the second thing was that, was that, uh, that we would craft goals and objectives, right? McGeorge Bundy in that period of time said, hey, it's better not to have a goal or objective, right? Because, because that way, if we don't accomplish our objective in Vietnam, we can say, oh, we, we didn't really want to do that anyway, right? So, so I mean, it, you know, it, it didn't, doesn't make sense, especially in war, and there's a real ethical problem of, of that. The third is, is that we were going to, uh, we we're going to identify the assumptions on which the strategy was based and test those assumptions. Uh, we already talked about, a lot about that. Uh, and, and then the, the fourth, the fourth uh, was that we were always going to present multiple options to the president. And, and I tried to do that with everything we brought to President Trump was to give him multiple options. Because it's in the presentation of those multiple options you can draw out long-term costs and, and, and consequences. And by just doing so, you can guard against groupthink, right? You can encourage people, right, to examine, uh, examine those, those multiple options.